I get asked a lot, uh, you're a polyglot, you're a hypoglot, uh, you yourself speak so many languages. Can you give us some tips and tricks to learn languages? Well, I would say, uh, I wouldn't call it uh, tricks because, you know, frankly speaking, languages, language learning uh, is nothing close to, you know, you don't, there, are, there are no tricks. Uh, to it um, tips okay yes but the most important tip would be it's it's a it's a process language learning is a process you know it's it's a beautiful process uh, you need to be very patient because you can't just expect that oh I studied French in eighth ninth tenth grade and I still cannot speak French happens to everyone happens to everyone I mean very few might be uh, there today who would say that no I was excellent you know but uh, so so trust me there are gonna be uh, frustrations there are gonna be frustrating times me myself I was a mess I was a mess when I started learning languages trust me and plus I was learning uh, German, French uh, together, uh, not together, together. I mean, in 8th, 9th, 10th, I had French. And uh, in my 10th summer vacations, it was German. And again, in college, 11th and 12th, uh, I was uh, continuing with my French. And meanwhile, I was uh, continuing with my German too, parallelly. And uh, oh my God, it was fun learning two languages parallelly at the same time, you know. Oh, uh, how was it? Mm, well, trust me, truly, I swear. I mean, I, I'm, I'm being very honest. I was a mess and it was very uh, confusing. I won't lie. I won't say something like, uh, oh, no, it's fun. It's easy. It happens to me. I'm brilliant and it all stays in my brain. No, I'm sorry. It doesn't. Uh, uh, it requires a lot of hard work. Uh, it requires dedication it requires uh, it requires that that craze that madness uh, that mad mad passion for languages to learn languages okay um, and how do you go about it <laughs> so it's it's a lengthy it's a beautiful process okay i won't i won't scare you by saying it's a lengthy process but it's a beautiful process uh, you need to be patient uh, when you're learning a language. You need to have faith in yourself. You need to have faith if you're learning uh, from someone. You need to have faith in your teacher. If you're learning, uh, self-learning, if you're self-teaching yourselves uh, a language, uh, you need to then strongly believe in yourselves. You need to constantly keep motivating yourselves because there, there, there ain't any uh, wonderful motivator than your own self. If, if you you are your own motivator nothing like it you know you will uh, you will survive <laughs> uh, so how how is this process and how do we go about it with this process you know so uh, when you begin learning so you have made the decision and you have started learning for example you have started learning so your self self learning okay for example you have decided that you are going to learn a language by your own self okay what next how are you going to do it the youtube university is definitely there what else you know there are these three amazing apps these days uh, which i would highly recommend uh, and you can pick and choose which one suits you which one you like or which one is uh, you feel comfortable with one is babel memorize and another the babble memorize and duolingo i think these three are very nice uh, apps for uh, basic learning and i think you can easily uh, uh, choose and then begin with or keep all the three apps and start learning from all the three uh, the choice is yours what next you so many many ask me how do we start do we start with the words do we start with grammar? Do we start with uh, straightway starting to speak with phrases? Well, I've, I feel it, it all goes hand in hand, okay? 
it would be wrong on my part if I say that uh, focus on grammar, uh, vocabulary can be learnt later. Focus on uh, vocabulary, grammar is okay. No, I, I wouldn't say that. That's, that's wrong. I would say it all goes hand in hand and it all has to come together and you have to you know sink it in such a way that you get a good blend of vocabulary you get a understanding of the grammar you start using a couple of sentences you pick up a certain greetings and the commonly used phrases meanwhile you're also listening to some good songs maybe you have started uh, reading short stories or very simple you know the children's uh, stories in that language or maybe you have started to probably watch uh, short films in that uh, uh, language with subtitles probably so there are these are these simple things which you can do and then uh, uh, you know so uh, you you start with grammar primarily and you uh, uh, learn so so for example you have learned a rule in grammar then what you do is take 10 words and they make 10 sentences in with that rule so you are implementing the grammar knowledge you are learning 10 new words as well and you are implementing i mean whatever you have learned you are actually using the knowledge right so that really helps uh, another thing could be reading and then which has to again go with it hand in hand uh, read the sentences uh, what I used to do when I was learning is uh, I used to uh, write diaries and uh, okay so that I am not going to take that credit my mom had given me that idea that I must uh, so I, I loved uh, writing diaries I still write diaries uh, so she suggested me to write uh, every day in a different language to keep in touch and and the best part is no one can read it you know <laughs> it's a secret diary it's a, I don't need uh, secret codes uh, uh, but um, yeah so you can uh, do that you can write a diary in that language and uh, so you learn and you make new sentences uh, so you basically need to keep challenging your own self when you're learning uh, any new language and then there are many other techniques you know the small things uh, I would like to share with you so what I used to do is uh, there were no post-its I mean post-its were not that common uh, when I started learning languages at least in India or maybe they were too expensive so we never uh, really thought of buying it uh, what I used to do is you know tear small pieces of paper and write the words uh, like for example uh, a table the chair the light the curtains the windows the air conditionings so what I used to do is write it in that in a different language on a piece of paper and with a scotch tape with a cello tape just stick it on it um, so you know while you're going and coming and you're you're around and you're just looking at those words and trying to recollect it and memorize it today with post-its what you can do is just put it and stick it on the uh, cupboard or or even the dates and calendar you know what I used to do is on the calendar uh, so we have uh, the traditional Kala Nirnay because being a Maharashtrian uh, we have Kala Nirnay at home so uh, I used to write uh, the month in different language I used to write the days and the numbers so that was a good practice you know every month a different language and plus I used to uh, not uh, mix up with the spellings so you know uh, knowingly unknowingly you are just looking at it and your brain kind of you are you're practicing it uh, unknowingly too so that's these are some really easy ways to keep in touch uh, especially for uh, languages like Japanese or Chinese where the script is different and there are so many characters you know so uh, I, I will I would like to do a separate video especially for Japanese and Chinese characters and how to memorize them or how to study them uh, but meanwhile this post-it thing just works wonderfully you know even on a clock you can put a post-it and maybe you can also put some questions about it, you know, like what time is it? Keller <laughs> etil in French, that is. So you can just uh, stick it on the clock.
。今何時ですか<笑> ?On the clock, you know, the question and、uh, keep answering in your mind to your own self. And these are some really easy ways to practice languages. And if you are really that person who is worried, ke, with whom am I going to talk this language? Really? You are getting that question? Then pick a friend and make your friend also learn the language with you. Both of you learn together, you get to practice, and voila, there's no problem at all then. I think that's all for today. You all take care. Remember, Everyone can learn languages. Anyone can learn a language, and everyone must learn a language. Yeah? Thank you so much. Hakuna Matata. Bye.